What's up kooky people? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't filmed in a very long time. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you want. I mean, if you're down for some mediocre content. <laughs> this video is gonna be um, kind of a mix of shit. It's gonna be like basically a massive collective haul because one, I've bought in like 90 pairs of shoes in the past like four months um so i have a lot of shoes and then um i just get a lot of questions about like where i shop like where my clothes are from so i'm gonna be showing you like some new pieces that i have and like stuff from my instagram that i get questions about and yeah and then also i got asked a fuck ton to do a um what i got for christmas video so i'm just gonna like throw that stuff in here so we're just gonna dive right in this i'm gonna start with like where i shop where certain clothing items that i have like on my instagram are from because i like get asked like where'd you get this shirt where'd you get these pants where'd you get this you dig so first of all this shirt i got from hot i was gonna say hot topic bitch i got this shirt from forever 21 basically i went shopping with my friend rachel for it was before my birthday i was like i need to find something to wear for my birthday i'm like so quirky because i need a birthday outfit anyways um we went to all kinds of different stores couldn't find shit we finally went into forever 21 i of course go to the men's section because that is just where I shop. <laughs> and they had this little gem. Rachel thought it was the ugliest thing ever. I happen to think it's a dope shirt. And I think it's like a nice statement piece with like some black joggers. Ooh. These biker shorts, which I don't have with me. They're at somebody's house right now. Um, but these biker shorts are from Vans. I've got tons of questions. I got like people would like send me my Instagram post and be like, where are these shorts from? so they're from vans do i need to make this higher i feel like this should be higher hold on my last like couple instagram posts and one of my last snapchat posts um all this shit is from the same place and then it is called dumb good which is it's exactly what the name says okay it's dumb fucking good i love dumb good they just have dope shit they really do a little pro tip if you will um <laughs> is to follow like places that you shop on instagram because like usually they like talk about like different promos sales and shit that they're having like on their instagram um anyways i love dumb good and a discussion this shirt is from dumb good it's fucking sweet it's just leather facing his family straight chilling um i get all these shirts in a large so they're like really big yeah so this shirt's dope it says texas chainsaw on the back i got three other shirts i need to go on and buy more i fucking love this website it's stupid so this was in my one of my last instagram posts and um it's an edward scissor hand shirt it's so nice and like the shirts are really nice quality i got two hoodies that aren't necessarily the best quality but the shirts are like super nice quality follow my instagram by the way if you don't already okay um at k-e-e-n-n-z-i-i-e-e -E -N -N this is from um, another Instagram post, if you saw it. Exorcist, the Exorcist shirt. Like me on yellow green. It's sick. They just have sick shit, you know? And this is in a large as well. This Child's Play 2 shirt. We love Chucky, we do. Um, I love Dumb Good. I also got two hoodies from Dumb Good, but it's just this Goosebumps the Haunted Mask hoodie, which is dope because I love Goosebumps. The books, the TV show, it's everything. So the front looks like this. Looks could kill. Yes, sir. And then I got this hoodie, which I don't know what size. So I got that hoodie in a 2X. So it's really big. I honestly got it in a 2X because that was the only size available. But it's like super nice because it's really um roomy, you know. Um, This one I got in a small though. It's just this red um Pennywise hoodie. It says, want a balloon? Question mark. <laughs> But yeah, so it's pretty dope. Um, and they're all champion hoodies. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for Dumb Good. Um, that's where I've been getting a lot of my shit recently. I really love that website. Anyways, I bought these a couple months ago, but I wanted to share them because I'm a whore. I'm a fucking whore for some joggers. So American Eagle has corduroy joggers right now. Actually, I don't know about right now. I got these like a good two months ago, but I fucking love them. So I have them in like a khaki brown. It's like a dark, really deep khaki. Khakis. And I have them in like a forest green, which is not... I get them in a men's small and I honestly, sh I, I should get the extra small. 
I should get the extra small because I have to like tie the string so tight. I just feel like if I got the extra small, I'd be like too tight on like my thighs and my booty cheeks. Ew. <laughs> I also have them in black, but I wore those a good couple days ago. So they're somewhere buried in my dirty clothes hamper. So that's chill. Then just some other shit I like bought. Um, I got these Vans pants. They're like bars, first of all, but they're like neon green and they look like this i'm not a fan of like checkerboard like i don't really like wearing checkerboard like that i feel like it's kind of tacky but like i really liked these pants so i was like it's chill the only fucking thing is is they are so loud i wore them the other day and i swear to god like you could hear me from coming from like two miles away dude I got those pants a while ago and then um to go with it because i'm a girl that likes some options you know i got two shirts to go with it whenever i'm just feeling a little kooky i can either wear this one it's just black and then says vans in the neon green in the middle and i cropped it and then i also got this white one it looks like this i also got this fucking hat which I don't wear hats like this. I just like straight up look like I have a dick if I wear hats like this. But I thought one day when I'm feeling a little quirky, I could like maybe put my hair in like a messy bun down here and wear this and like maybe it'd be a look. I thought it was cool. It's like this little eyeball, like drinking a martini. Just buying shit I don't need. Anyways, we're gonna get into the ridiculous amount of shoes that I have bought in, in the past like five months, like I said. I okay, so the first pair is one of my favorite pairs. These are actually in an Instagram post and they are the Chima Pro 2 suede canvas black white. And these are actually youth shoes. So youth shoes, if you fit in youth shoes, they're so much cheaper. So they look like this and I love them. They're a fucking nice looking shoe. They're my only like plain black and white shoes that I own. So I kind of like wear them a lot because I'm a dumbass and I buy shoes that like I can wear with like one thing, you know, like, I don't know. I have an issue. Somebody help. So my favorite kind of shoe from Vans are their pig suede shoes. They are fucking orgasmic. And that is just that. These ones are authentic pig suede mangoes. And they are nice. It's like a really nice velvet suede. And these are yellow. As you can tell, I haven't even laced these up yet. So you're going to see a lot of shoes that aren't even laced, aren't even taken out of the box. So, I mean, I have issues. Okay, anyways, so... These, love these. A couple more Pig Suede Authentics, because like I said, they're my favorite. These ones are Pig Suede Princess Blue, and they look like this. Oh, I'm not blue though. Oh. These are Pig Suede Violet. You're turning violet, Violet. You're turning violet, Violet. And they're like the pink, pink ones. These ones are Pig Suede Darkest Spruce, and they're in exactly what the fuck it said. These are probably my favorite. These are pig suede scooter, and I actually have worn these. These are like a deep red. Fresh. These are Eras, and these are called Lady Vans White True White. These look like this. Checkerboard Multi True White slip-ons, and they look like this. They're just orange, red, and blue checkerboard. But my mom got me this shirt for Christmas. And... Oh, I did. Because, like, literally after I bought them, I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to wear those with. But boom. I mean, like I said, not really a fan of checkerboard. But, I mean, like, some checkerboard shoes are cool. But, like, you wouldn't catch me wearing, like, a checkerboard shirt. Or, like, a jacket that's, like, completely checkerboard. I don't know. These. Fuck. I never. I didn't. Some of these I don't even remember that I have. They're just sitting here for so long. These are Eras and they're called Romantic Floral Lapis Blue. I'm telling you the names just in case you like want to get them. I mean, you'll like know the exact name. But a lot of these you're going to have to go to like a Vans outlet for. Which, I mean, you get better deals at an outlet than a full price store. So. But these look like this. These Harry Potter shoes. Uh, these are Comfy Cush Eras. And they're the Daily Profits. And they're just like, they look like this. These bad boys. These are actually one of my favorite pairs of shoes. These are Skate High MTE 2.0. Did you hear that like voice shiver? I'm so dead. Um, <laughs> they're Skate High MTE 2.0 DXs. And they're called uh, Oil Blue True White. And like, just look at this color, dude. You good, Chuck? I don't know if you hear that, but he's just like gagged. Yeah. Look at them. This is so cool. Love zone or whatever. So these bitches are skate highs and they're the Shark Week skate highs. Like, look at them. 
come on now come on now also another pair of mtes these are called surf black and surf the web that's the colorway on them they look like this aren't they cute i had to get them in a size too big for me because i'm a fucking buffoon and i like had to have these i love these yeah i just bought a new pair of yacht clubs just the red blue green and yellow shoes that I feel like you have had to have seen on Instagram or Twitter at some point, but my other pair was just toe up from the flow up, so we got a new pair. Oh, okay, so these are actually kid shoes. These are Old School V Camo Black Racing Red, and they look like this. Are those nice? And I've actually worn those. Good job, bitch. These are Authentics. Authentics and Old Schools are my favorite, um, but these are called Mixed Checker Chili Pepper. Oh, dude bars dude <laughs> but i'm a whore for i keep saying i'm a whore i'm sorry i'm not a whore mom i am a lover of red shoes these are another pair of authentics and these are ochre authentics yeah they're just like a mustardy yellow my this looks so damn big i'm only a women's seven okay and then i have a pair oh my god i didn't realize how many there were how many are there jesus fuck 13 14 15 16 17 god damn anyways here's another pair of old schools these are pixwig blue fog old schools and they look like this check foxing quetzal green these are really nice i don't know why i haven't worn these yet but they look like this isn't that a nice shoe do i have anything to wear with them though no <laughs> as i'm making this i am like realizing how ridiculous i am like i'm baffled chuck is sitting over here baffled okay these are a skate high 38 dx and they're an anaheim factory shoe and they're called i don't know somebody say murka um this is a pair of comfy kush eras and they're called pinned black marshmallow i'm also sorry if like me reading the names and the styles is just like gibberish to you i just wanted to include them in case like you like any of these and you can like try and find them um but they look like this and they're pretty cool. Okay, these dirty bitches are actually really dope. And they're <laughs> these are a pair of old schools. And they're called Gingham. Do I say that right? Gingham? 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 I don't know how you say it. Uh, black to white. And they're just plaid black and white old schools. Kenzie, this is what Kenzie talking, dude. Why do you have this many pairs of shoes, dude? Damn. This is so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that was a workout to put those shoes away. So that is how many shoes I've bought in the past, like, four months. So swag so now we're gonna get into what i got for christmas got this like dream big vault a set of monochromatic palettes um i'm not gonna open every single one up but i will show you this orange one because it's not worthy look at that isn't that just such a nut aesthetic you know what i'm saying isn't that so cute not sweet cute. A bitch isn't into Frozen. A bitch really isn't into Frozen. I've never even watched either of the movies and I have no desire to. But Colourpop came out with a collection and like the makeup in each of them was bomb. And so I was like, I'm just gonna get them. This is the Elsa one. Isn't this bitch Elsa? I think this bitch is Elsa. So it comes with, each of them come with a lip gloss, a lipstick, a palette, and this glitter gel. <sighs> bitch. Bitch. And this is what the palette looks like. I have that on my inner corner as well. I'm personally not a lipstick wearer, so I don't know if I'll get much use out of it, especially because it's a like a deep ass berry in this thing. This one, the purple bitch, um, looks like this. And then look at the glitter gel on this. It's gold, bitch. <laughs> it's gold, bitch. This shit is so nice. I wore this, um, and one of my douchebag like lip syncing videos that I put on like my Instagram story and a lot of people asked what it was. This is what it was. So not worthy, goddamn. And then the palette looks like this. I, so it's like more nude, but I still probably never wear it. I got an, a comforter for Christmas. It is life changing. Um, I like said I wanted one like a year ago and somehow my mom remembered and she got me one. Did you got me this avocado palette from this iHeart I Heart Revolution brand, which I love this brand. So it looks like this. It's an avocado. And the palette. The palette looks like this. Good. Oh. And then she also got me this Revolution highlighter and I'm wearing it right now. Oh my God, look. It looks like this. This I am stoked about, so I have to show it first. My mom got me this. I love these little donut palettes. I have one of them, and I fucking love it. So my mom got me, like, this set, and it is fucking great. And it's by that iHeart Revolution 
band brand when i first initially like saw it i was like oh my god like that's five eyeshadow palettes i had to count it i'm sorry i'm like kind of stupid but no bitch nay nay you thought wrong one of them is a highlighter i already dug my grimy little fucking finger in there can you see that one of them is a bronzer whoa oh. this one is a palette it's like purple and it looks like this oof dude look at that bitch look at the color in that john <laughs> this one is whoa <laughs> this one is blush this one which is also an eyeshadow palette it's kylie jenner highlighter i don't own anything by kylie jenner like from kylie jenner's line because i just like don't really care for her um sorry if that like um hurts your little quirky feelings but this is called queen drip i swatched it and it's like not that great um but like see like there's nothing on my finger do you see that like there's nothing on it and like like it's i don't know but i don't know how much she taxes for these but like kylie step it up bitch you know what i'm saying i also got the smashbox palette my mom got me a lot of makeup and i'm on i'm honestly really glad because i don't buy makeup on my own i just like i'll buy my essentials you know like when i run out of foundation i'll get foundation but i don't like go out of my way to like buy palettes and stuff just because i would rather spend money on clothes and shoes if you couldn't tell this palette what is it called your story is written in the stars isn't that deep it's so deep but it has this hefty mirror on it look at my ugly side profile but it looks like this and it has like blush bronzer eyeshadows the whole nine yards in it um but it's like look at this blush i love a good orangey blush um and then i also got this like smashbox like trio so they look like this so the top one is blush bronzer and highlight this one is an eyeshadow palette isn't that cute and then this one i really like is an eyeshadow palette i'm a subtle girl usually i just got a little kooky today um i'm sorry i keep saying kooky too take a shot every time i say kooky dude i turned 21 next year isn't that bonkers that's fucking bonkers to me um i got this lovely real techniques brush set a bun shield if you will <laughs> three brushes and a sponge but i already used the sponge because this beauty sponge the beauty sponge yeah we'll call it that the beauty sponge i was using before is toe up from the flow up so i was like i need to crack this bitch open now it was like christmas morning i was like i need a sponge now i just got like a couple other makeup products i just want to show you like the main ones um what else oh my god i got some very expensive house shoes <laughs> my mom got me these ugg like slippers are they like they're like a ugg slide they're not slippers but i'm gonna wear them as house shoes I told her because we like went to journeys i was looking for a present for my my sister because she wanted these doc martens that i like couldn't find anywhere and so like i went to go look at journey kids to see if they had them and um i saw these and i've always thought these were kind of cute but like i wouldn't wear them like with a fit you know like they're just like Oh, I gotta go run and get the grocery shoes or um I'm gonna go check the mail shoes. Um I'm just gonna walk around the house shoes to me. <laughs> Very expensive house shoes. Or I was like, I think these are cute. And then my mom was like, I'll buy them for you. Cause I really didn't get you much for Christmas. I was like, fuck yeah, dude. It's nice if you have dogs because like I hate like when like dog hair like sticks to the bottom of my feet. That sounds really gross. Like I just have like dog hair everywhere. But like I don't know. <laughs> I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, I'm sorry if it was really fucking boring. That was supposed to be that SpongeBob meme. I don't know if anybody has seen that. I'm out of here. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you learned something. Maybe you found something that you like that you're going to go buy now. Or answered one of your questions if you've asked me on Instagram or something where I got something. Um, if you have any video requests, please fucking leave them down below. Because I am not creative at all when it comes to making videos. Which is partly why I suck at uploading. Because I don't want to upload, like, boring shit. This is kind of boring. I'm sorry. There. But I'm going to try and pick it up back here. But we'll see. You know, I always say that. And then I ghost... I ghost y'all for a good two months. Anyways, I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Peace out, guys. Bye.